Hey everybody, Rob Booker here, best-selling author of Adventures of a Currency Trader, Trading by Faith. And uh, some of my favorite books on this bookshelf were not written by me. One of them is Anti-Fragile by Nassim Taleb. If you haven't read this book, I highly suggest it. It's by the author of Black Swan. It's a better book, I think. It's a book about how the best systems in the world, whether trading or financial related or not, are ones that benefit from chaos that are robust enough to do better when things go into chaos. Most of us trade systems that don't do better when chaos, when there's a flash crash or whatever else, most of our systems break. And one of the things that you want to look for are systems that can benefit or survive through difficult times. But let's say you're watching some windbag, blowhard, narcissistic jerk on YouTube <laughs> and he talks about a lot of different trading systems. So I've got a whole bunch of different trading systems. I've got the Finch, I've got reversal tabs, I've got the Flash Boy robot, I've got support and resistance trading. These are all different systems and strategies. And you, you can become overwhelmed with the number of different things that you can do. And it can be hard, it can, it can be difficult. You might say, gosh, Rob, you, you talk about focus, but then you get on YouTube and you, and you trade all these different strategies and you talk about all these different trading strategies and all these different methods and all these different things. I don't really know how to follow you or if I really should follow you anymore because I don't know if there's really any way to tell what I should do. So which one of these things should I do? And it takes us back to our conversation that we had in video one on this Q&A. In your first year of trading, or if you're starting over because you haven't had success and you're starting from scratch, in your first year of trading, your responsibility is to play around with lots of different trading systems in the same way that a young person shouldn't just get married without dating people, or a person shopping for a car shouldn't just buy the first car that they see at the price they see it for, that you've got to do some shopping around, that you've got to do some analysis on what's a better fit for you. So you play with a lot of different trading systems in your first year as a trader. Six months is fine, a year is fine. But you get a bunch of trading systems and you learn a bunch of trading systems and there are so many out there for free. You shouldn't ever have to spend any money on them. If you do ever spend any money on them, fine, that's fine. I'm not going to argue with you about that. I'm just saying that there's so much free stuff out there. So let's say that you play around with a, a, a robot, like I, you know, the Finch robot. You play around with a discretionary trading system that uses reversal tabs. And I'll put a link below to some of these indicators and some of this stuff uh, down below. And you play around with them and you see, well, what's working for me? What's doing well for me? And then you just focus on that. And then you ignore everything else. My goal isn't for you to watch my YouTube videos forever. My goal is for you to become a successful trader, focus, and delete my YouTube channel and unsubscribe. That's fine with me. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I want you to be successful more than I want subscribers. I don't want people to get unfocused by watching my videos. So why do I even produce videos with other trading systems? Well, here's the reason. I run what is essentially a giant trading restaurant, right? I'm a super well-known trader in the trading world that does YouTube videos and a podcast. And I have a menu, just like any other restaurant would have. I have little systems that you can have as an appetizer, like little free indicators and stuff that you can download to whet your appetite. And then I have main courses. And then I have specials. And then I have dessert and whatnot. I don't know what the equivalent of these are, but there's lots of different things on the menu that you can choose from. And just like every diner in a restaurant isn't going to want exactly the same thing, not every person that watches this YouTube channel, which is free, is going to want the same thing. So the fact that I talk about lots of different things is due to the fact that I'm a place where you can come and order off the menu and try lots of different things and see what you like. And once you find what you like, you just keep ordering the same thing and then maybe you try something new after you've gotten tired of that thing that you've tried and you know that it works for you and you know it's a backup for you and you know it's always there for you and you know that it's... A, that's what you do. But I, I'm happy to try out and test and invent new trading systems just like a chef is really excited to put brand new things on the menu all the time. It doesn't mean that you should walk into the restaurant and eat everything off the menu. 
that could be bad. That's probably a bad idea. It means that there are things available to you that you can try, and then you find out what you like best, and then you focus on that. And then when you want to try something else new, I hope you'll come back to me and learn something on the YouTube channel. Or sometimes you stop in and just get a little bite of something to try something out, or we do a tasting menu, or you try different things out, but you know what your focus is, and you know where your main nutrition is coming from, your main profits are coming from in your trading account. And then maybe the markets are interesting to you like they are to me and you want to try different things out every once in a while and look at things every once in a while. Once you have the foundation in place and once you're making that dollar a week and two dollars a week and four dollars a week and ten dollars a week and a hundred dollars a week and five hundred dollars a week, it's fun to look around at some other things. It's enjoyable sometimes to see what other people are doing. That's fine as long as you can focus on exactly what it is that works best for you. And if what works best for you doesn't work for me, it doesn't matter, right? You do what works for you. If someone criticizes your trading system that works for you, you tell them to go shove it. You, th you throw their opinions and them personally in the garbage can. Don't ever listen to anybody who criticizes your trading system if it's working for you. But don't defend your trading system to other people if it's not really working for you if it's just your pet trading system that you love. In the next video, I'm going to talk about giving up on systems that don't work. We'll be back. Thanks so much for watching this series of videos. If you like what you're watching, share the videos. There's nothing for sale here, and they're great starter videos on what it's like to get started as a trader. I hope they are anyway, and you can subscribe to the channel. It would bring me great joy, great tidings of great joy. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.